When two vehicles are traveling on a narrow road, they sometimes have to slow down, veer to the right to allow the other one to pass. On a rural road, there's not enough room for two cars to occupy the center of the road. If two vehicles are coming head on, they must slow down, veer to the right, and allow the other car to pass safely. This is somewhat similar to what happens on the water. Okay, Tim, let's talk about meeting head on. Right, head on is actually a very common situation. When two boats are meeting head on, both vessels should alter their course to the right or starboard side. In this case, they are both the give way vessel. In other words, they both give way to the other vessel. That's right, and I, I, you can see today we got, a, we got a busy day on the water, especially with personal watercraft, jet skis. That's a very common occurrence, head on situations with jet skis. In this case, both vessels are responsible for taking suitable measures to avoid a collision. And then once each vessel steers to the right or the starboard side, it can pass with the other vessel on its port side. Well, Tim, I know it sounds a little obvious, but it seems to me that the end goal is to avoid collisions at all costs and keep safe on the water. Am I right? Yeah, it's kind of obvious, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's that time. You ready to go on the water and show them how it's done? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, now go. All right, Tim, here I come. Just keep going head on until we get a little close and then we'll and then we'll do the go around. Starboard side. Now, ready? Okay, now. Watch yourself, big wave. Okay, it's easy to remember. When two boats are headed toward each other, it is always best for both boats to bear to starboard. That's right. As you saw in our scenario, that's exactly how our boats were. Right. The wrong way to approach meeting head on is to continue at a rapid speed without slowing down, not communicate your intent, or cross pass, causing an, an accident. accident.